what it sounds as though you are saying is that, look, the only problem here was that the Windrush generation did not have the proof. The only problem is that nobody somewhere along the line made sure that they got the proof, rather than actually recognising that there might be a problem in a system that has been asking them repeatedly for such a high and impossible level of proof, a system that has taken away their appeal rights, a system that has taken away their legal aid, a system that has then said they've not got any chance to appeal and we're going to take away their chance to work or chance to get their benefits or health care and so on in the meantime. And actually there's a problem in the system that doesn't have a process to raise those problems with ministers and say they've got to be sorted out as soon as they happen and not only after it becomes a crisis like this. And I would just tell you her with just a final thought on this, which is a warning that I have already given privately to her immigration minister. There are other crises of a similar nature that are coming down the track. I would say one may well be immigration detention, which we have been looking at in other cases, in another inquiry, where there are, we have come across a huge number of cases where it appears people are being wrongly locked up, torture victims held for weeks and weeks at a time, cases that I think would appall her and that she would find as heartrending as all of these other cases that we have been talking about, but her system is not dealing with it. She doesn't have a system to address it. It's the Home Secretary, it's you who said that the problem is that this is about individuals. We've heard individual stories, and sometimes the Home Office loses sight of the individuals. I would really urge her to go back and look for the individuals, not just in the Windrush stories, but in all of the others as well.